is it? Well, don't stop talking now. What is it? What is it? I know that we have some big news, don't we? We have some big news. I haven't done an update on Sylvester in a while um, because we've had a bunch of developments. Look at how nice his fur has grown back, except on his face, just right here. I know, but yeah, but everywhere else your fur has gotten gorgeous. Anyway, um, there is Sylvester. We have great news. Um, and it's really funny because it actually came from the videos. So over a month ago, I was contacted by a woman named Michelle, and I have talked to her about this, and she said it was fine. Um, so if you're watching Michelle, hello. Um, who saw a video that had Sylvester in it. I don't think she watches all the videos. I think just when she has time, she'll catch a video here and there. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. And her sister runs a rescue, and it's a big rescue in Florida. And anyway, so when she first contacted me, um, it was just some tips and tricks. In, in Florida, they actually have large feral cat colonies that will get mange, and they can only treat those chemically. You know, you can't catch a feral cat and give it baths and yada yada. And so anyway, so we had been exchanging tips and tricks, and, and the fungus uh, really has pretty much intrigued everyone, because really that's the only thing. I mean, it's just hard to see if the fungus is gone, um, because he still is excreting. Well, I haven't cleaned this wall yet, so I'll show you. See this brown? He, he's, he's excreting that somehow. Um, and that is a t that's a sign of fungal. And then I can't get his head to clear up. Um, so anyway, we've been talking back and forth. Well, Michelle uh, and I've been sending her pictures and videos. And, you know, Sylvester is, he is wonderful. He's so sweet and he talks and he's just precious. Um, but to be honest, I hate keeping him in this room. And he's getting kind of chunky monkey. <laughs> I don't get enough exercise. So Michelle, um, really, uh, she was like, oh, I really want him, but, you know, the logistics of it, and her sister uh, agreed, because, like I said, she runs a rescue, and she is, she has access to um, quarantines and that kind of thing. So this weekend... Sylvester is being transported to Florida. Yes, where he will go into, yes, I know, a nicer quarantine um, and get seen by some other, but, well, I don't know if they're specialists, say, but he'll get a third, maybe a fourth opinion, I don't even know, with him and see what they can do. And then when he is ready, Michelle will take him home. Yes, but at least he'll have more room to run and play and that kind of thing. Um, because I really do feel like I have taken it as far as I can come. I mean, he has grown all, he's got a little bit of a bear patch right there, but the hair is growing back. It's just taking longer. And then on his face, he doesn't have any mange. We've had several scrapings. His ears have no fungus in them, but there has to be something. Um, and we just don't know, and we can't catch it, so hopefully they can, but either which way, this way he'll have a, lot, a much larger area. He'll be able to be more active. Um, yeah, and then he'll have a mommy. Yes, and that way he can get to know his mommy as well, because um, she can go visit him there, and she can't hear, um, but it has been, it's been over probably a month, maybe more, in the making, uh, 
So I'm very, very, very excited about that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, because, I mean, see, he just excretes. And we're not sure. So we don't know. You know, we don't know. But that's okay. This is his new favorite spot. He has left to the shower. He used to love his box in the shower. But now he has moved spots. Haven't you? Yes. I know. I'm going to hold you. Okay, this is after he eats, I hold him. And that's what he's waiting on. Um, so we're going to go so I can hold him. Hmm. Janet Stemper sent us some goodies as usual and as i'm sure janet is used to and knows there are some things missing i think i remember the food that's missing um and then you know and these have come in um a couple different deliveries so they may not all be here but i will get to them um but i did want to film these before all the food was gone and i forgot and um to show these because I'm very excited about them. Janet sent over two cases of the poultry platter. Um, as you can see, we've already started on them. And then she also sent two cases, there were two, of the um, chicken and salmon uh, shreds. I don't actually remember using the whole case, <laughs> but I guess I did. Oh, look. stuff on your back end um i haven't shaved i have to shave little prim's back end um because with her tail situation and her fur situation uh it can get quite uh, back there but i haven't actually shaved her in a little bit because she was doing quite well um but excuse that shot of her if she needs to be shaved Yes, she does. Look at that. Doesn't she look like a mink? She looks like a mink. Anyway, uh, sorry, y'all. I love Prim. She's so mean. Anyway, um, and then she also sent over two cases of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Pate. Um, I have used one, and I also used the box. I let the little babies play in these kind of boxes. Um, the tiny ones um, in the spa. And then she sent on the light, stupid light, um, two puzzles, which I, I love, and she knows this. Um, if you've watched me long enough, you do know that I love. She actually, um, I finished the other cat puzzle, and I did frame it. It's done. It's framed. I believe I filmed it when I finished it. However, uh, once the nursery is empty... And kitten season is over. We are doing some renovations in there. I've already gotten the plans made. Um, I am lining the bottom half of the wall with a type of, um, I never can remember what that board is called, but it's like a shiny board that you can like wipe off. Uh, what is that board called? It's kind of like what you have on like your kitchen cabinets back in the day, like laminate. It's like a laminate. I think that's it. Um, I am lining the bottom half of the walls because one, my drywall is dead because of the sanitizer and two, I'm tired of it being hard to get poop off my walls. Um, that's just the way it is. And then I am also redoing the door in between the kitten closet and the nursery. Um, it, that door did not suffice it didn't last long I'm using something called uh, I don't know drywall metal some kind of metal I don't know I cannot remember what it's called but all the stuff is planned um, I just have to get it empty and there aren't very many kittens in the nursery and I'm not filming in the nursery right now um, various reasons but anyway oh I have rambled like a hundred years in this um, but anyway, this is, um, a 500 piece puzzle. Look how cute. Look at that baby. We just had a cat. Um, Sarah just had one in foster. We adopted out named Zeus. 
uh, that looks like that. And not to be confused with the little baby orange cat named Zeus. This was a different uh, Maine Coon mix. And then this one I love. This one, oh my goodness. I cannot wait. This is the one I'm going to put together next. Oh, but anyway, that one is going to be hung up on the wall along with some other stuff that's been sent to me after the nursery has been done. But look at this. It is um, called Bookish Cats. And it's, of course, different um, literature. The great cats be. <laughs> but look, Anna Perinina. I don't know. And, oh, look at that. So that one is going to be my next. Uh, one. Unfortunately, I can't start it this week. But surely kitten season will end. Surely it will. Um, but thank you, Janet, so, so much. And sorry if I miss some stuff. And it'll probably be in a different mail time. Um, you know how it is. All right. Thank you so much.